I call myself a professional in-betweener. I have several types of archives, literally collecting, archiving, smell sources from reality. In my lab, I have 6,000 chemical compounds. Each can have sufficient information to track back to that very moment in time, place, and reason for collecting. There's a whole world to smell and a whole world to educate how to smell. For me, the sense of smell is being alive. The collected molecules are then sent to the big lab in the U.S. who do the analysis. And what I get back are data. And with that kind of information, I go to my lab and reproduce, replicate as much as I can. The first product in that direction is a smell memory kit, which is a small device that enables you to reflect on what is memory. The memory kit consists of 1,500 abstract smell molecules and nobody knows what's in those ampullas before you open them. My own nose is a very efficient tool and I keep it fit so it can work very precise. Smell is triggering in two synapses, emotion and memory, the most efficient processing of all senses. And I hope that one day we will have a planet where people say, yes, this smell is there for a purpose. Maybe you and me don't like it, but there's a reason why it's there. Give it a chance. And I think it's about to happen.